The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre, Whitney Pier. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Community Services. New Brunswick has recently announced that it will index social assistance rates. This means that on April 1st, each year, social assistance rates will increase by the percentage change in the consumer price index. This year in Nova Scotia, the rate of the increase of the cost of living is expected to be over 4%. Without this same change, people re relying on the government for income will be even worse off this year than they were last year. Mr. Speaker, Will the minister commit to indexing all social assistance rates to the cost of living? The Honourable Minister of Community Services. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member uh, for the question. Uh, the Department of Community Services are always looking at um, how we can improve income assistance. We're working collaboratively across all departments, looking at what other programs we can implement, um, endeavor to, to put out there for individuals um, that are finding living in Nova Scotia challenging. Uh, we know that there's 22,000 individuals on income assistance in Nova Scotia. Um, many of them uh, do work and uh, there's lots of programs within our department that sets them on a path to success. Thank you. The member for Cape Breton Senator Whitney Pier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the Minister needs to look no further than New Brunswick for those um, initiatives. Mr. Speaker, last week when I asked the Minister about, the, about income assistance clients who access CERB, the Minister said, quote, there are choices in life that they made. They made a decision, end quote, and I will table that. Mr. Speaker, this government also has made a choice. They made the decision to table a budget that sets income supports well below what is needed for a household to meet their basic needs. A single adult receiving the standard household rate, the poverty reduction tax credit, and the affordable living tax credit has an income that is more than $16,000 below the poverty line. That's a choice the minister made. Mr. Speaker, does the minister think it is acceptable choice to set income levels from the income for income assistance clients thousands of dollars the Honourable below the Minister poverty line. of Community Services. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, we recognize the challenges of uh, most vulnerable Nova Scotians, um, those that are living in poverty. That's why um, my mandate letter from the Premier has indicated to work across all departments and government uh, to ensure that we put a five-year plan in to fit, um, you know, tackle poverty, and that's exactly what we're doing. Um, I think with regards to um, the member's question last week about making choices, um, perhaps when the video goes up this week, it'll be the whole video so that we can explain what I meant by choices. When my son got a $2,000 check in the mail, he didn't deserve it. So I said, you send it back. You get this over here. So what I'm trying to say is that Department of Community Services will work, will work with anyone who wants to Clayton work with Park us. West. 